I had scratched all the videos I had planned for this week because I've had some moments and I just wanted to share with the world that I suck at making decisions. Who's with me? Hi, welcome back everybody to my channel where I, Ardell, hope to inspire you to capture the vision of your life. If you are new here, please remember to subscribe to my channel and click that gray bell to be notified the moment I upload another video every Wednesday and now on the weekends because I feel like it. It was a decision I made because I'm terrible at making decisions. I wanted to look into this because I've always been a bad, a self-proclaimed bad decision maker. Why are we bad at decisions and what can we do about it? So stay tuned to the end of this video where I will give you all the things I learned while looking into this because I need help. And if you know anything that you do to help yourself make decisions, please let me know. That's me letting you let me know in the comment section below. Why are we bad at making decisions with ADHD? Obviously, to start off, we are easily distracted. So we might even be in the middle of making a good decision and we just zone out of that situation and before we know it, we forgot to even make a decision before maybe it's too late. You don't have much time to really weigh the pros and cons or to really ask the right questions to make the right decision. Another thing that we struggle with with ADHD is we can't minimize or simplify or filter out or process of elimination and delete a lot of the options that are not needed. Like we can't make things simple. We can't narrow things down because everything seems important because with all the options, when there's too much information presented in front of us, our brains are going a mile a minute of future projecting and finding out what are the endless possibilities that any one decision I make what can it do for you? What are the endless possibilities? So we have a hard time simplifying things. Everything is so overwhelming for us because too much information just makes you a deer in the headlights, as I like to say. Another thing is that we can't prioritize and simplify tasks or projects. Like within doing a project or within doing certain tasks, you end up spending so much time on something that really only should have taken you 10 minutes. But here you are, two hours later still working on something that really didn't need to be focused on that much because we have a tendency to hyper focus and we, we get caught up in the details of things. Another reason why we're not great decision makers is because we have a bad working memory. And sometimes we make decisions not remembering that there are certain factors that we didn't take into consideration before it's too late. Another thing that we have a, a tendency to do is to not remember to ask the correct questions going into a situation. So not only do we forget that there are things we should consider, there are also questions that we should ask so we can be considering those things. It reminds me of looking into getting an apartment. Sometimes you might forget to ask the right questions until it's too late. Same with buying a car or same with signing up for classes for school. You might forget to ask, well, what class would be more important to get me in the path that I wanna to go to? And you forget to ask and before you know it, you're taking a class that isn't that important or you're driving a car that didn't have the special feature you want or you're in an apartment that you have to pay for all of the utilities. With all that said, with a history of bad decision making comes anxiety when more choices and decisions come up to where you almost ignore decisions in the first place of big decisions that you need to make. Like if should you go to the doctor soon? Which doctor should you go to? It's just so overwhelming that you don't even want to look into it, that you just put things off. You put important decisions off because you don't know what to do, that therefore you do nothing out of fear or out of anxiety. You don't want to feel those feelings. So it's easier to just veg out, numb out and check out. So let me know what you think of that and what are some other obstacles that come up for you when you have to make a decision or what are your thoughts on that? Let me know in the comments below because I always love hearing from you guys. All right, so we're bad at making decisions. What can we do to make it easier to make a decision when you have ADHD? Obviously there are certain decisions that are gonna be easy. Should I eat? Should I drink some water? Like, obviously. When it comes to medium to large to important and life-changing decisions, what can we do to make those easier for ourselves? Looking into this, I found a common theme and a common thread throughout the World Wide Web on ways in which we can make easier decisions. And in true ADHD mother bird fashion, I am going to regurgitate what I learned onto you, my lovely little chicks. That is disgusting. Okay, so to start off, that's me regurgitating this information, write it down. Write it down, get it all out on paper. I've been really hearing a lot about this, just getting it out. Write it down so you can look at it, because a lot of times, 
writing it down just makes it feel a little bit more out of here and easier to visualize. With writing it down, write out the pros and cons. Because a lot of times when you start weighing the pros and cons and you realize that it might not be so great or actually it's not as bad as I thought or this actually looks a little better, it'll help you out to visualize things. I'm a very visual person, obviously, with our television. Like I got 20-20 vision here. And after you have the, the pros and cons written down, then you're gonna wanna narrow it down. You're going to want to, by process of elimination, cut things out. Now, the word decide comes from the Latin word to cut off. So you're going to want to decide what is not needed. Really just weighing the pros and cons helps you decide what is or isn't needed. And then before you know it, you have less choice, less overwhelm. So now that you've narrowed it down, who are you as a person? What are your values? And focus on those. If they don't line up with your values, if it's something that's going against just who you are as a person and getting it all out and pro and conning that situation and process of eliminating that thing has made it super simple, super simple, what is your value and does it properly line up to your values? If you don't know what your values are, I highly recommend recommend you look into finding out what your values are. Um, you could read the Dare to Lead Brene Brown book and she goes into that in some detail. So, yep, go figure out your values. It'll help you make a decision. Mine are perseverance and faith. Thanks, Brene. Another thing you could do when making a decision is try to make a decision in a quiet place. If you can't go into another room, just take a moment to step aside from a current situation, to just take a pause, take a beat, step aside, and really sit and focus on listening to yourself, which leads into following your gut instinct. What does your intuition tell you? Is this a rash decision that is going against the grain of your values and who you are, or is this, is this right? Is this, is this the gut instinct? Like, no, I think, this is, I think this is the right decision for me. You know you better than anybody else. Really just take a moment to stop, pause, breathe. Definitely wanted to break out into song there, but I'm gonna stick with, I'm gonna decide to stay focused, but really just get calm, cool, and collected and make a decision. Another thing you can do is talk to somebody that you trust, help them weigh some of the pros and cons out to you, help them figure out, is this something that would be best for your life? based on decisions you've made in the past that you weren't really happy with? Is this, is this just jumping into another ridiculous situation? And is also this is, this, is this a question or is this a decision that you can revisit at a later time? Does it have to be made now? Can you put a proverbial pin in that? Now this last tipperuski or this last thought is something that I've never even considered doing, but it's so true record when you actually make a good decision so you can start seeing yourself as a good decision maker so instead of just having a litany and a long history of bad decisions you can start seeing oh well i'm starting to build a better habit of making decisions so therefore i can trust myself in the future all i just need to do is to stop Calm down, take a beat, take a breather, write it down, pros and cons that situation, process of elimination that blizznitch, and before you know it, bam, decision made. <laughs> that is the decision making process for those of us with ADHD. Are we going to make that bad decisions in the future? We all do. But I think it is a great decision to not beat yourself up for it. Mentor yourself, not criticize yourself to perfection. We can always do better. It's okay if you made a bad decision. What can we do to problem solve that situation? What can we do to remedy the bad decision that was made? What is the worst case scenario? Because most likely it's not that big of a deal. We have a tendency to make it a big deal. So, hmm, what do you think? What do you think of my decision to make a video about decisions? Let me know in the section below. Now that is all I have for you. I really hope you liked this video. Give it one big thumbs up to let me know. Share this with all your friends if you think they will benefit from this. And please remember to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Click that gray bell to be notified the moment I upload another video every Wednesday and on the weekends. And please, my lovely visionaries, know this. You are in my prayers. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.